Welcome to Viva! No one is going to deny the e-commerce is on the decline. In fact, if anything, e-commerce and online shopping is only going to grow. So here are the five facts you need to know about online shopping. A study by iPrice Group looks at the differences in online shopping behaviour between East Malaysians and West Malaysians. Unified with Sabah and Sarawak since 1963, Malaysia is a combination of two distinct geographical regions, Peninsular Malaysia, West Malaysia and East Malaysia. And as we celebrate the 54th unification anniversary this year, let's learn more about the e-commerce business. So how big is the online shopping in the country? East Malaysians spend 75% more time searching for products as compared to users in Peninsula. Although there are more online shoppers in the Peninsula, they spend 11% lesser time shopping online. This confirms a survey conducted by 11th Street earlier this year that East Malaysians were more likely to purchase items online than those in West Malaysia. The study done by iPrice Group says that online shopping has become more convenient and attractive in East Malaysia, such as significant improvements in logistics and payment gateways. And one such example is major logistics players such as DHL and MAB Cargo, both of whom have announced further development in delivery services to East Malaysia to cater to the growing e-commerce demand there. Additionally, e-commerce makes it possible for East Malaysians to obtain products which were not uh, available obtained in that region. iPrice study also confirms when people shop. Now, if you are a business owner thinking about when to advertise during the day, then it's best to know what time people do their shopping. Analyzing the way Malaysians shop daily, they learned that both regions begin shopping at 11 o'clock in the morning onwards. However, as the day proceeds, folks in West Malaysia continue to shop during their lunch breaks, while East Malaysians prefer to go offline during this period. This is apparent as online traffic in the peninsula slightly increases 0.2% from 11am to 2pm, while there was a 9.4% decrease in East Malaysia during the same period. After lunchtime, online traffic would see a rise and a decrease once again from 4pm to 6pm. Although there was a drop in online traffic for both regions, there was a larger drop in East Malaysia as much as 28%, while the peninsula only experienced a drop of about 16%. Now, is it true that festive season gets more online shopping? It turns out that Ramadan, Chinese New Year and the 12-12 sale were among the most popular online shopping periods. It's common for businesses to advertise during the festive period and there's proof now that people do their shopping online. Popular festive holidays which attracted most online shoppers were Ramadan, Chinese New Year and Boxing Day. For Ramadan, there was a significantly higher increase in online traffic for Peninsular Malaysia with an increase of 23% as compared to East Malaysia with an increase of only 14%. Online traffic reached its peak on 19th June, just five days before the major Hari Raya celebrations. Interestingly, this period saw a rise with online traffic particularly at 4am onwards while they do have their saho. This was unique as online traffic would return to usual after the end of the Ramadan period. Particularly, there is a larger increase of online shoppers in East Malaysia during the Chinese period, reaching its peak traffic just five days before Chinese New Year. There was an increase of 27% in online traffic in the East compared to 19% in the West. This was probably influenced by a larger group of Chinese ethnic Malaysians in Sarawak, which comprised more than 26% of the total population there. It's also smart to know what devices people are using for online shopping. Malaysians in the peninsula are 10% more likely to shop online using a smartphone, while East Malaysians are 10% more likely to use a desktop or tablet. Telecommunications infrastructure is far more advanced in the peninsula as compared to the East. As such, East Malaysians prefer to shop online using their desktop and tablets as fixed internet lines is a little bit better than broadband compared to its West Malaysia. And finally, let's consider the demographics of online shoppers. iPrice and their survey confirmed everyone's suspicion that there were more female online shoppers in both regions as compared to males. Similarly, online shopping was more popular among Generation X, 
which are between the ages of 25 and 34, and millennials, which are between the ages of 18 and 24. All the date and all the data was taken from iPrice users from 1st January and 30th June this year, and all the data was provided for by iPrice Group, and we are proud to present the findings. You're watching Viva.